I had this perception in my head that as soon as I put technology near animals, especially animals the size of cows, we would be having trouble with it. And we were checking them every single day through mating and every single collar was reading and it, it just works. Normally for pre-mating, for instance, we'd have to watch cows for three weeks and see which ones had cycled and which ones hadn't, so it adds another element of stress. Being able to look back in terms of what's happened over those three weeks without actually doing it gives us a, another chance for, a, let's say, break in the looser sense of the word. It enables us to do more without actually being here and now every day. So that sort of opens up another kind of three weeks between calving and mating for us. Now it's up and going and we've had some time with it. We're anticipating getting a much better benefit out of our transition springer stuff because our springers come back to the shed and we'll go through the system every day. In terms of positive results that Cowtrack's given us, I think the, the biggest one in the short term has got to be the labour efficiency. We're not spending as much on labour, especially through the first half of the season because we've got the essentially that spare set of eyes watching the system. In terms of reaching our goals, I think this technology is going to get our reproductive performance to where that where we think it should be. That's a real driver for us in terms of you know getting it so that cows are actually milking. They're not in the dry mob for too long. They're actually doing what they're supposed to. Cow track's going to enable us to get to that position far, far quicker than we probably ever would have. Cow track's enabling us to have more confidence in achieving what we think we can achieve.